But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs>
So for the, for the sake of the money, you know, we know the story when Muhammad, he asked his companion, his name is Jabir, why you don't marry a child? So you can play with her and she can play with you. So Muhammad, he sacrificed his desire for the sake of the money. Gold is what people seek. I'm not here to do business. And most of my life work, I did not receive even a penny. This is, was new. Uh, and, you know, in the year 2012, uh, I thought maybe we can make a TV station and nobody support us. So it was a failure. You know, very few people, they were interested to support. Uh, otherwise, I never really thought about even collecting donation. Uh, even though it's really needed, uh, but this is not why we are here. So if there's a donation or there's no donation, we will be here. If people help or not help, I will be here. If the one who listen, they are poor or rich, I will be here. Um, it doesn't matter really. Uh, and I will never change the way I do things. And uh, this is a promise from me. Um, See, people, they can give excuses to collect money. Yes, life is not for free. Um, but, you know, there is, there is the Lord is providing. And as long as the Lord is providing, what we need more? You will take nothing with you extra to the grave. So don't be greedy and don't seek more. Otherwise, you will lose a lot. Um, so uh, this is my answer for the person who asked me to do this seven days uh, trial community I'm not doing business my friend and always I will do my videos for free and my help for free uh, I speak to people for free in private in public uh, all for free uh, and it will never change uh, you always be careful because Satan he would love to deceive you and he will love to use you. When your mission became about money, you will lose everything. You know, see all the disciples of Jesus, uh, and they are the best of us. They used to work. You know, uh, uh, Paul he used to make tents. Uh, so they work, and for sure, like Christian, they support them, but they did not make demand that I will not teach in your church unless you pay me first, unless you give me money. Uh, people who do this, they are not serving the Lord. They are just doing business. Uh, if people want to help, uh, okay, from their good, they can help. But if not, if you are a believer, then the Lord will provide you. The Lord will provide you. If you put money first before your mission, it means you are just doing money. You are not working for your mission. Money is coming first. Uh, so that will never change. And uh, I hope my message is clear. And I want just to, to have a little conversation with you guys. Nothing really. Uh, we don't have much of a topic. As I see, this, was, uh, this email was uh, very irritating for me. Uh, I don't know what this person think of me. Very bad. That's very bad. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you know the majority of people are poor. People they cannot afford this day to buy a sandwich. People they cannot afford even to you know to, to do anything. I mean, life is becoming so expensive. Uh, I'm a person who by myself. I don't have children. I don't have wife, and Life is really expensive. I mean, you, uh, last year, the $100, it make way more. Like you can do more shopping, way more shopping than what we have today, thanks to the stupid uh, president of this country. Uh, so, you know, why, why, I mean, why, why we think always about how we can accomplish, uh, how our mission becomes just about money. You know, uh, you go even churches, you will see that a person, he will not do a speech in a church 
you know, negotiate first. The same as the Muslims, you know, Muslims and there's many Christian and Muslim they do the same. You will see an ustad or those Mimi Hijab, I know this we supposedly they became ustads now, but they are just a junk of, of Islam. Uh, they will not go to somewhere unless you get them a five stars hotel and uh, you know how much you will pay me. Uh, they have a debate with David Wood right away after two seconds. Brother, sister, debate, you know, donate for us. We are the ones standing for Islam. After not even an hour from the debate, he start crying out, asking for donation because this is the, their, their golden opportunity to get rich. And actually, we know that David Wood, whatever he touch, he make it into gold. And I'm talking about Muslims. He is the one who make them rich. Because always he come with a funny debate. Uh, so... Those are Muslims and we are Christians, we are different. Muhammad is a prophet of money. The God of Muhammad, even he asked for borrowing money and the return of the money will pay back to you in heaven. Have you ever heard of a God asking for mortgage? Why, aren't you God? Muhammad is making business and he used God as all cult leaders. And cult leaders, by the way, uh, not necessarily they are from Muslim, you know. They can be somebody claimed to be Christians. I don't know, this website is not working now. I don't know what's wrong with it. Yeah. If you go to chapter 2, verse number 245, you will see it says, Who want to give Allah a goodly loan? Chapter uh, 57, verse number 11, it says, Man, who is the one? Uh, can give Allah a good loan and Allah will double it for him. Uh, here it is one double, here it's many doubles. And ask yourself what kind of God he need a, mor a mortgage and he will pay you back in heaven. You know, I mean, isn't it obvious it's a scam? Or isn't it this God who created gold and silver? You know, why he is begging for money? Uh, in chapter 67, verse number 17, 64, verse number 17, you see, I keep, okay, now it's working, thank God, finally. If you lend to Allah a goodly loan, i.e. spent for the cause of Allah, and who is the one who will take the money? Muhammad. So always I want to warn you that all liars, all cult leaders, they want two things. Your money, and your women. You will find that all corruption of any religious institute, institute, sorry, this doesn't matter what it is, you know, even if it's Christian or Muslims or Hindus or anything. Always, always, the corruption have to come from two, uh, from two doors, money and sex. Those two things men are enslaved to which means they are slaves to money and a slave to sex and when a person he become famous he feel that he is powerful and he like to take advantage because you know now he reached the top let us say where he can demand things he can demand money he can demand service he can demand uh, uh, special uh, treatment because now he reached the point where he is in control. The second you see that, this person is a fraud. You see, uh, right now, it's late night here in my place. What I will lose if I go online and I answer some Christians about their questions, regardless of anything. Let us say there's nobody making donation. I mean, what I will lose? What exactly I sacrifice? Now, for sure, in my case, I stay for many hours. I stay sometime even, you know, I do more than one broadcast. One is six hours, the other one three hours, the other one three, two hours. You know, total like 13, 14 hours within 24 hours or, or 48 hours. That is extreme. But let us say, I'm a person who make videos for 15 minutes or half hour. Why exactly I demand people to pay me in order to make that video? That is not right. Uh, Muhammad, his way is known that he tempt his followers to pay him 
not because they are good and not because he is good, but because what they will get in return. You see, it's an investment. It's in front of you. So their greed their, is their religion, their greed. So the greedy one, he says, oh, okay, let me give Muhammad now, you know, I will give him a thousand dollar and Muhammad will make it for me a million dollar in heaven. So even when they give, not because they are good, but because they are evil. Do you understand me? Not because they are good. You see, why Allah telling them, I will double it for you? He is using their greed. Can a person give without expectation of return? A good person, he do that. If you give me money and the expectation I will double it for you, doesn't mean that you are good at all. That's mean you are bad. Do you, do you understand? A good person, a good person, <laughs> you don't give a you don't give a sandwich for somebody he is homeless, hoping that he will do something back to you. What exactly he will do? What do you want? Now Allah is God supposedly, and this God He is asking them to spend money, and for sure they will give it to Muhammad, and Allah will double it for them. Why a Muslim he want money to be doubled for him? And how you can double money for him? And as long you are good in doubling, why you are asking for it? And as long the person is giving it to you, not because he is interested to help you, but now he is interested to double it. All cult leaders, they are the same. My friend, there is nothing is called deception of Allah, volume number two. There is Quran and science in on depth. That is volume two. So we have different name. So you might be confused thinking that volume number one, that's mean there's volume number two. So it should be volume number two, but I changed the name because it's focused in science. So you need to search for Quran and science on depth. That is deception of Allah, very number two. Uh, you know, the Lord, he says, from their fruit, you shall know them. And here, in this case, a person is making donation. He don't have a fruit. That is not a fruit. That is an expectation of an investment. Actually, the Quran did not hesitate for a second to call Islam as a trade. If we search for the word tijara, tijara, you will see the word tijara is all over the Quran. Tijara. Muhammad, he said to them, can I lead you to a tijara, which is a very great investment? Chapter 61, verse number 10. Tijara. You know what tijara? The translation here says commerce. Tijara is you buying some stuff, and then you say it again, and then you made some money from reselling the product. That is tijara. Tijara is not someone who made the product, someone he bought it and he resold it. And he made, he add extra price to the price he bought it with. This is what Tijara is. So how in the world God and guidance become a Tijara? Because this is the nature of Islam. Islam is a business. Why Muslim believe in Allah? Because he will give them gold and silver and he will double their money and he will give them a lot of sex, boys, wine. So it is, it's not the belief, it is the buffet. It's not because they believe. 
They believe in the buffet. They don't believe in Allah. Their expectation is the buffet. And that's why if we take the buffet out, how many Muslims will be believing in, in, in Islam? How many person will do, uh, you know, uh, like explore, explode himself for the sake of Allah? Nobody. But they are desperate to go because what this life here, most of them who do that, you know, they are desperate, they are poor, they have no money. Like you see Osama bin Laden, his men, they go to die and he stay in the back. Why you don't do what your money, you know, why, why your son don't do what they do too? Why you don't send your son to die with them? Why, why, why his son don't put his, himself in a car and explode himself? Hmm? And those are the rich. Those are doing business, drugs, etc. And they use religion as a cover up for their business. Uh, but the real believers is the one who give his life to get what? To get the buffet. To get the girls. The women with the big boobs. Osama bin Laden is so smart. He know that this is false. This is why he is not doing it. Otherwise, he will be the first to go. Aren't they seeking to be murdered? Go for it. He will not do that. He hide for many, many years. <laughs> when he had the opportunity every day to be murdered for the sake of Allah. But they will not do it. So the naive ones is the one who do uh, such a thing. It's different from riba. Riba, the word riba is coming from the interest. Interest, like interest you take from a bank. But you know, the Muslim always, uh, they have, uh, you know, uh, they play games uh, to go around things. So as an example, in Islamic banks, they, uh, if you put your money in the bank, they say, we don't give you interest. We give you return. <laughs> so they change just the name, you know? So it's a fraud. They, they, this is the nation of frauds. Everything is a fraud. They just change the name. Like prostitution, we don't do prostitution. Haram. So what we do? What we do? We do one night stand. We do Zawaja friend. We don't do Muta no more. So what we do? So they just changed the name. Do you remember the video of Mimi Hijab and uh, uh, the Sheikh, his name is Abu Khadija? Mimi Hijab was saying to Abu Khadija, he is a, a very well-known Sheikh, Muslim Sunni, that you Muslim Sunni, you marry for five minutes. Five minutes. I can find you the video. Let me see, you know. Looking for the video. Yeah. Let us see. This is Muhammad Hijab. He is saying the truth. Muslims, you know, Islam is is a, is, is an opportunity to be a loser. To be a sex sexual predator, and to you know, this is God. This is God teaching. You know, God told them you can marry as many as you want. Read it. Huh? It's in the front of you. What you're happy to do, you and your friends, yeah, is acquiesce to the fact that you guys are going around, yeah, marrying people for two minutes and three minutes and five minutes and one hour, two hours, whatever it may be. Did you hear it? They marry Muslim. They marry Muslims. Muslim men. They marry Muslim girls or women. For five minutes, three minutes, two hours maybe. This is what they do. All you're happy to do, you and your friends, yeah, is acquiesce to the fact that you guys are going around, yeah, marrying people for two minutes and three minutes and five minutes and one hour, two hours, whatever it may be. Your selfies are always accused marriage and divorce, marriage and divorce, marriage. <laughs> so is there any sunnah for this? Is there any evidence for this? Get that being, by the way, Ikhwan. Yani that is that is one of the most, yani 
one of the most evil statements that is made against the people of Sunnah. Anyone who's familiar with the other communities will know that the affair of divorce among them is far, far more disproportionate than among the people of Sunnah. But it is us who are highlighted. That is it. And that is the manner of those who fight against the people of Sunnah. Da'iman wa abadan. They will look for any excuse to highlight the people of Sunnah as evildoers. Apparently, uh, our brothers at SP, yani there is someone among them has married 60 times, apparently. This you know, here you see the hypocrisy of two Muslim side making fun of each other. Well, isn't it Muhammad, he married an unlimited number of women? So why you deny? Isn't it your right to marry as many as you wish? What happened now? I mean, isn't it this is your religion? You can divorce as much you want. You can remarry. You can divorce. You can even divorce the same woman three times, four times. And then you can, uh, three times, and then after, if she, to go back to you, she have to go and sleep with someone else. That is the truth. And this is in the Quran. And you ask a Muslim, why this rule is exist, that if a man, he divorces his wife three times, she have to sleep with somebody else before she came back to him. He said, he will say to you, this is a punishment for him because he don't, he, he make a divorce as a game. Well, the one who make it as a game is Allah. Why Allah allow him to do it? And now the woman, she got divorced, but she, excuse my language, she is the one to be effed, not him. What he lost? What exactly lost? Uh, nothing. So what kind of justice this justice is? The woman mostly, she want to go back to her kids, not to the husband, because obviously he is not good. But if you divorce her three times, she cannot come back to you unless she sleep with the new Abdul. What the heck is that? It is a sexual religion, very stupid rules. And now he marry her again, and he divorced her three times. She have to have another one. It's a, it's a joke. You need that verse, it's in the front of you. This is a chapter of, of the Hindu, chapter 2, Al-Baqarah, the cow, verse number 230. So as you see, Islam focus in sex, money, business. And the free trial is limited. There's no free trial actually, because everything is a promise in heaven. For now, you can try some Muslims, but you have to spend money in order to try them. Islam is religion of try. You can try the women. You can marry her, you know, for a day. You don't like her. You can send her back. Give her the money. Go. Bye-bye. It's over. There's no limit. There's no limit in Islam how many times or how long you marry uh, anyone. This is the truth. Somebody saying, I'm a Muslim from Palestine, which means from Israel. There's nothing that's called Palestine. I love Jesus, I dreamed of him, and I'm just as scared to change. Okay, don't change then. Stay where you are. Get the versions. Anyone have a question? Can you talk about alcohol in Islam? First of all, in Islam, the alcohol, and you know, see, Muhammad almost is dead. And yet he did not forbid alcohol. He said, the Quran said, now Muslim in the Hadith, they will say to you, uh, Allah curse the one who make it, who buy it, who sell it. But look what the Quran says. Uh, Ishtanibu mean avoid it, does not mean haram. It says it's a sin, but doesn't say it is haram. You see, haram, forbidden, is something will uh, will bring you a capital punishment. Uh, 
like you know uh, fornication as an example if you kiss a woman if you touch her private part in Islam this is called a lemon it's okay there's no punishment for it there's no punishment actually if you marry your mother in Islam even though it says haram in the Quran there is no punishment in Islam if you sleep with your mother or even your sister or even your daughter or even your aunt or even your grandmother and I can show the reference there's no punishment even the one it says haram which means it's forbidden what is the excuse? well he married her <laughs> he married her how you can marry how you can marry your mother <laughs> so Islam is a very weird religion what is fornication? fornication is having sexual relationship you know with uh, this is the traditional meaning uh, with someone is not lawful for you uh, especially like if you are married you know like a cheating cheater you know but fornication is having uh, a partner is not your wife or not your husband as simple as that uh, but in, you know like in the biblical uh, meaning fornication is uh, any sin which is against God teaching as an example in the Old Testament we see it says that the earth committed fornication the earth but we know that earth don't have sex so what the what the Bible says that the, the, the earth is in a great trouble full of sin equal to what it's called fornication so fornication is you doing something against God uh, will and uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's about doing something not lawful not right for you as simple as that uh, cp is drain away from drain away from whom moonlight reversed he tried to scare you to contact me oh okay well if you want to contact me I, i'm not really in the mood today uh, to go uh, in, in skype <laughs> uh, i guess we lost connection for a second maybe or for a few seconds i don't know if you guys heard me i was saying is this guy is a shake like he is a good meal or very skinny let us open skype and see how good he is now we open skype we will see that they don't they will not call us usually that's what they do here we go my skype is open please text me uh, the one who is saying he want to talk to me Uh, give me your name so I will find who is because I have too many texts here what is that what is the name of the person who want to talk to me Is, is guys the video running fine? Am I heard? Okay, uh, my Skype is open. Where is the Abdul who wanna call me and he is desperate to talk to me? And he claim we are running away from him. Where are you? I, I receive a I receive a message uh, from a person who left Islam, and he said to me, "My father he dishonored me, and uh, uh, yeah, because he left Islam, you know, he says he, like he, he don't want to see him no more. 
Let me give him a message. No, no, don't worry. Where is the Abdul who was desperate to call me? What happened? Where is the one who was so excited? He, Christian Prince, is running away. My Skype is open. Do you see? I mean, they are just kids. They don't dare. Where are you? We have a person saying Muslim here. Okay, let's see this person here. lower the speaker temporarily <clears throat> we are ringing him so this guy is not answering Okay, well, he's not answering what he can do. Who is, uh, where is the brave Muslims who want to talk to me? So you made me go in YouTube, in, in Skype, open my Skype, and it turned to be that you are a potato. They were very excited and, you know. Uh, somebody sent me a message saying they cannot find my book in Amazon, Quran, and Science in Depth. You know those, uh, Amazon? They are playing games, for sure. And, yeah. I, I, I can see it's not showing. Mm. Yeah. Very filthy company. Maybe we should publish it in Google, you know. So where is the Mohammedan? The one his name is Elias. What happened to you, Elias? Where is your potato? Hello? You see, when, when they want to debate David Wood, they will see a long line of them, they want to debate him. Here, there are potatoes. Any Muhammadan? Maybe, maybe. CP is never defending, just opposing something angry. I think must have loved before. 
I have no idea what does that mean. I think you are qualified to write Quran. Too. Uh, so that's it. Are we out of them? Where is the Muslims who were saying they wanted to call me? Okay, shall I exit Skype? Hey, the, the, the Abdul, where is the Abdul? Where is the one is so exciting, we want to call you? What happened? I mean, what you will lose if you call me anyway? Do you know that Allah will give you a reward just for calling me because you want to defend Islam? And you know what does that mean? That will increase your uh, balance in the heaven. You will get extra women, their, their butt will be bigger. You can name it, I mean extra, a lot of extra. Your private part will be special, you know. Maybe Allah will provide you and sunglasses for your eye, you know, for your private part. Because remember that women in heaven, their private part is so shiny. They, I don't want you to go blind. The first shiny private part in the world, actually, it was the private part of Muhammad mother. According to the hadith, when she gave birth to him, a light came out from her holy vagina and reach all the way the palaces of Damascus. And all Muslims, they knew the hadith. This is why if, I am, if I'm a Muslim, and I want to go to the bedroom, you know, I have to wear a welding glasses for, you know, in case, you know, never know. It might be so shiny. Right? And look at them. Any Muslim he would dare to say this is a lie? They don't dare. Look at them. Look. Not even one of them said this is a lie. Because this is what they say in their books. And the funny is that nobody saw the light coming from her, uh, from uh, Muhammad, mother of vagina. I mean, the whole people of Quraysh never saw it. How, how the light went all the way to Damascus. And why it's going the, in the direction of Damascus? I mean, light goes in every direction. Is that a beam light? Maybe she have a headlight there. You know what? Maybe when she was laying down, her legs, I mean, her <laughs> was facing Damascus. I mean, at least when you make a lie, make it, uh, you know, come on. And what? Oh, so the light came out from the roof, like what Muhammad, mother, she was giving birth in the roof, in the top. How the light came out? Well, I mean, uh, You missed the part where David was says if somebody need a free access because he cannot afford, he will give a free access. He is not forcing anyone to join. Yeah, my friend, I'm not talking about David anyway, but uh, as long as you mention this, uh, it should be free access to everybody. Aren't you getting donation in Patreon? So what the donation in Patreon for? And then the same as people, they donate to you, they donate. Well, this is a free trial, you know. I wasn't, maybe you came late. I'm, I'm not talking about David. I'm talking about somebody asked me to do community free trial, something like that. Maybe he, uh, he was trying to copy others. But uh, our work here should not be, you pay me and then you are welcome. And if you are poor, send me an email and I will give you, a, we will look at it. You know, that is not right, you know. Obviously, this is a service made for those who can afford it, not the one who cannot afford it. Uh, you know, if you are poor, well, all the people are poor. How many people are not poor? What is the percentage of those who have money with those who don't? So we are making service for those who have no you know, money, or we have making service for those who have money.
very important question for me should i look for a very important answer before you ask it let me open my uh, a document to research for very important question answer because there's many people who claim to have knowledge they have uh, you know they have list of things question answers they search them from the internet where they put them there and when people ask them why you are not married what's your business why you want me to get married did i do anything to you do you hate me are you trying to seek revenge or something uh, Abdur Rahmi, Abdur Ramahi. Uh, okay. So what? You want to talk to me or what? I don't know. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. What do you want to say to Hold us? Hold on one second. Let me put the speaker. <laughs> to this oh what is the speaker video we don't want video turn it off turn it off no problem okay great how you doing i'm fine you are a muslim my friend i am all right what does that mean well as i've been told it's to submit to god where we can find that in the quran i don't think it's in the quran <laughs> um yeah, no. I don't, see, I'm not a Quran master, but I I've read a lot on the internet. I I am pretty open minded to everything. No so problem. I, I, yeah, you see, like I really got into a lot of different stuff, like Shia and learning. You know, because I'm Sunni, born Sunni, whatever. Yeah. But I think I align more with the Shias because I kind of respect their beliefs. So, I don't know. You know. So how you want me to talk to you as a Shia or as a Sunni? As a Sunni, because I you know I'm just, okay. I just I just I'm just not the type like all oh, the Shia are kafar and they should be killed. Yeah. Like I don't think that yeah. that's true. Well, you know, my friend, uh, the Quran says in chapter forty-nine, verse number fourteen. Uh, you know, when the Muslims they say that we submit, that is not really a true. I don't know if you speak Arabic or not. Aslam means surrender. Like Muhammad, he sent messages to the Roman. A letter says, "Aslam, Aslam." So surrender, uh, you know, this is what Islam means. You surrender to Muhammad, and then you will become his, uh, you know, under his command. You will be safe. You know, you join him. Uh, he will be your king, and you will be his slave forever. You surrender. So Islam is to surrender to Muhammad. The excuse is when you surrender to Muhammad, you surrender to God. But the fact, you know, if you want to surrender to God, why I need Muhammad anyway? If God is there, was exist before Muhammad, why I need to say Shahada, and the Shahada contain the name of the God and the name of Muhammad. So in my, if you ask me, I believe that Muslims are Mushrikeen. You know what Mushrikeen mean? Yeah, they believe in many uh, gods or they polytheists. Associate, you associate somebody with God, that's what Mushrikeen mean. You associate somebody, and that's what Muslims do. They associate Muhammad with Allah. As an example, if I, if I ask you, uh, where the sun set, what you will say? If Muhammad is here, you know? If Muhammad is here, and Muhammad, he asks you, do you know where is the sun set? What, what is your answer to him? Well, I know what he said, but I would say, knowing what we know now, that the center is the, the sun's at the center. No, let us say you do not know. You are at that time. Okay. Okay, what I you will say? I would say I don't know. I you would say, say I don't, don't know. know. But are you willing to say Allah and his messengers knows best? Would I say that? Would you say Allah and his messengers knows best? Nah, I guess if I was a firm believer in God, I would say God knows best. But maybe so, not. So you, you refuse to say Allah and his messenger and, and his messenger know best because this is associating the knowledge of a man with the knowledge of god correct Fair point i had yeah because and i want to briefly brother um because the other day for whatever reason i tried to call and i wrote just some minor stuff down but there's something i didn't write down um like i actually read for the first time that the jews obviously you know 
the, just the terminology that Jesus was a false prophet, right? So in the same way, like the Christians didn't accept Muhammad. So like I, I try to look at Islam then and I try to look at Islam now, you know? Like, I didn't know there was such criticism of Muhammad back then. I only thought this was the thing of today. But, like, why do you think that? It, like, like so, it's not, I see the criticisms, right? I see that Jesus has a pretty flawless record, right? Mm -hmm. And then what about all the things that are of, you know, just, just stuff that we that we can't make sense out of, like, I wouldn't say Abraham. I wouldn't say uh, Abraham sacrificing his son, but you know things like that. Like, okay, here's one point: Solomon and he had thousands of wives. Why is that different from Muhammad? Why why he can't have sixteen, but Solomon had thousand wives and seven hundred slave women, or however many? Yeah, well, if you go and see in the Bible, you will see that God he condemned the behavior of uh, David and anyone who did such a thing. So there's a huge difference between you do it mm -hmm. and you do sin, and then God says to you, God bless you, you are good. And then God, he says, no, this is uh, bad. And even like when he decided to build a temple, God, he says to him, I don't want money from you. Your money is, you know, your hand is, is covered by blood. Don't build a temple for me. I reject your temple. So there's a huge difference between somebody praising somebody for the sin he do and condemning him for the sin he do. The Quran, even Muhammad, he have hadith about it, that uh, uh, Solomon, he wanted to have sex with his 99 wives, or 100 wives, and he forgot to say, inshallah. So Muhammad, he have no problem with having sex with 100 women in one night, which is a very funny story. Uh, uh, but he, the problem is that uh, Solomon, he forgot to say, inshallah. <laughs> and, then okay. Allah, and then Allah gave him a half son, you know? So, uh, so when we talk, you see, uh, me as a Christian, if you ask me, I will say, well, David, he was doing bad sin, or oh, whoever, anyone, doesn't matter. We don't cover up for a person because he's famous or because he have a, let us say, a high rank as a, a prestige or a person, you know, he's a king or, no, we don't, you know. So, uh, uh, you know, when, when Peter, he said something Jesus did not like, he says to him, stay away from me, Satan. So, I mean, this is Peter, you know, this is Peter, this is not just anyone. So, in the Bible, when somebody he do wrong, we point at him and we say he's wrong. In the Quran, all the gang of Muhammad are good, but they are doing wrong. Well, in this, yeah, you know, I, I like to think I have some good points, and they're not points against you, and I appreciate everything you're saying. Um, like point number one, you know, like Muhammad didn't have any sons, right? Like, so this is the thing with religion. So you could look at it like, oh, Allah tested him. He tests, you know, if you believe in him, he tests the most, I don't know if it's in Christianity, but of course in Islam, and I would think so that God tests the most pious, right? So he didn't have any sons that lived. So, but then somebody could say, oh, look, he's a false prophet. If he was loved by Allah, why didn't he have sons like David, Solomon, whatever, you know, sons that lived and. And why the sons of Ali, they were killed and poisoned. And and the Sunni think, oh, the Shia poisoned them. And the Shia say, oh, you guys killed them. And the Caliphates and the Umayyads and the Abbasids, whatever. So I look at it like what really happened and then what came after. Like, I do see the problems in Islam, but it, it's it's like, okay, was that a my human friend, my problem? Friend. My friend. Is this I don't judge Muhammad for being a false prophet because you don't have kids. What does this have to do with being prophet or not? But in Islam, but in Islam, you you are uh, you know this is what Muhammad he taught them. You see, Muhammad he says uh, he uh, Allah he curse Allah he curse even the seeds. So it's it's Muhammad teaching brought that on him. But for me as a Christian, let us say you or anyone you don't have kids. What this your what's your problem? I mean this is it's not your fault, right? It's not, it's right, not, it's not, right. a, he did not commit a crime. So we don't judge Muhammad because he could not have a son. That is, not, that is the most funny thing ever. But the funny is that Muhammad, he, uh, he, he say things, it's a stupid. And yet he claimed that he received message from God. As you see in the front of you, Muhammad, he claimed that the sun goes every day 
from the east to the west and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. So if Muhammad is a prophet, I'm not going to look at him if he has sons or not. I will look at what he just said. He just said that the sun goes every day from the east to the west and then it prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. And if a hadith he says, which is according to the Quran, the sun goes in uh, in a muddy water. All right. But then, right. But with religion comes all these sayings, you know, like, like is that literally? Did he mean that literally? It sounds yes, like it's me mean literally. Like, you know, he's talking about the sunset, the story in the front of you in YouTube. Well, says, I mean, that's literally, that that's literally, but I mean like prostrating in front of Allah, maybe the sun, I, I no, don't know. No, 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 this is, you see, he's asking, he said, do you know where the sun goes? The sun is going now, it's sunset. And uh, why we need to find like a solution now for literally or not, the, even Muhammad, he quote a verse from the Quran, and he says, and this is the explanation of the Quran saying, and the sun runs on its fixed course for a term and degree. So even Muhammad is quoting the Quran to explain what he's saying. The Muslims on the other side, in order to make it look nicer, they say, uh, actually the majority of Muslim Sunni, I never, I never saw a Muslim Sunni actually saying this metaphorical. Are you saying now this metaphorical? Because this is the first time I see a Muslim Sunni saying this no, metaphorical. No, 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 I, I'm not even claiming that. I kind of meant, okay. I, I'm just kind of putting it out there, like maybe the second part where he says it goes in front of Allah, because, you know, anyway. My, my friend, I, my friend, my friend, the Quran teaches that everything bow down to Allah, etc. And obviously it's not metaphorical because Muhammad even he claimed that animals, they praise Allah, uh, rocks, they praise Allah, even rocks, they speak to him. When Muhammad, he walk in Mecca, there's a stone, say to Muhammad, Assalamu alaikum, Rasulullah, stone. You know, speak to Muhammad. So it's not metaphorical, obviously, but isn't it? This is alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a fraud, that the sun goes every day from the east to the west. Isn't it? This is enough when Muhammad he says in different hadith that the sun goes and sit in a muddy spring, hot spring of water. Hmm? Is that metaphorical? No. Okay. No, I don't think so if Muhammad, well, if, what about the hadith? If, if Muhammad, if Muhammad is a prophet. Then he, he say what prophets say. If he is talking, he is receiving his knowledge from his God. So when Muhammad, he says such a statement, I do not care if I have children or not. But even the story of having children, it's very funny. Do you know that Muhammad, he claimed that he used to be the most weak person in sex between all mankind. And then he invoked his God. And then Allah, he sent him a dish of al kufait I don't know if... You know what al kufait like, like kufta, you know kufait, kufta, kufait. Oh, yeah. So Allah, he sent them kufta. Muhammad, he ate it. He got the power of 40 men. I mean, his story, this, I mean, this is this is a story of a mad person. This is not a story of somebody. He have a, a brain. I mean, this is like a, somebody is taking hashish, drugs. You know, what kind of a prophet he go in public and he says, I was the most weak person between all mankind. And then I invoke my God. And then he sent me a dish of al kufait I ate it, I get the, port of the power of 40. Do you, you, yourself, do you really believe in such a thing? I think the sexual... <laughs> I... Now, do you I believe mean, that God, he will send a dish of shish kebab to fix a, a private part of a man? I, 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 I really don't. Okay, I don't. so obviously Muhammad is a false prophet. I mean... Uh, well, for... how do we know... We, okay, we, I'm oh, sorry. My friend, isn't it? This is enough. I mean, all of this is just, uh, the Quran is wrong. I have tons of stories for us. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. So, like Jesus' miracles, right? Yeah. Compared to Muhammad's miracles. Muhammad like, has no miracles. Where are the miracles? That's the thing the splitting of the moon and, no. and the. And the you see, let me, let me take you. Let me take you. There's, uh, you see, like, how do we know Jesus did those things? Like we know he, he, my friend, he healed when, the leper. He, when Jesus, when know? Jesus, he did miracle. There is thousands of uh, you know of uh, witnesses, and Muhammad himself he could not deny it. But we will not take Muhammad to witness for Jesus. But uh, you can say how I know I wasn't there. You can say that no problem. But you cannot say that Jesus is lying, <laughs> because Jesus never claimed anything, except what he did. So when Jesus, he says, go and your sin is forgiven, he forgive the sin. When Jesus, he say, go and you, you will see the guy he see, the blind he can see, go and walk the guy he walk. But Muhammad, you, you say to me, he split the moon, right? Okay. If we go to the verse, we will see something very funny. 
about this verse and you will die laughing in a second where where in the quran it says that muhammad or allah he split the moon i think it's a hadith and that kind of leads me to a further question I, and no, I don't hold on. no hold on you see okay. why the quran he mentioned that jesus did this did that did that did that did that and in the quran the only thing happened in the time of muhammad the muslim they claim it's a miracle that the moon is split nowhere in the verse it says allah he did it or Muhammad, he did it. And the verse in the front of you. Chapter, the moon, verse number so one. The, yeah. Actually, actually, this verse is proving to us that Muhammad is a fraud. Why? Because in Arabic, it says, اقتربت الساعة وانشق القمر. اقتربت, اقتربت mean it's very soon, almost there. الساعة, the, the, the hour, which means the judgment day. And the moon split. So the moon splitting was the, the sign of the day of judgment started and that was 1400 years ago no no that, that's that's something i'm very have a i have a very hard time you know like he said this person will not live exactly yeah he will not grow old until the hour come that stuff's very weird for me and, and i just you know the effects of islam like if i could say like Oh, it's very stressful. Like, okay, when the when the teacher was killed, you know, he made cartoon. Like, I used to. I'm okay. I, I get so passionate, so I'm just. I don't want my mind going everywhere. I want to be focused for you. Like, I am very passionate about slam. You right in the beginning. Now I, you know, it's like touching a fire. Right when you learn about other religions, like touching a fire. I don't know. Maybe for Christianity, they, they tell you learn about other religions. In Islam, you already know. The Sunni, oh, don't learn from the Shia. Don't listen to the Christians. They want to change you. Everybody hates you. So you're like, you cannot believe, but then you, you know, you get a little older and you're like, okay, what's this about? Then you're learning. And so I guess to say, in these times where Muhammad predicted that people would leave their religion and there would be trials and which we're seeing now, how do you have all these prophecies like, my friend, maybe people, maybe people left Islam people. because he knew he forced them. He knew he forced them. He, did, uh, you see, if I force did, you, if did, I force did, you, did, listen, did, listen, did, my I'm friend, sorry, if I force you to believe in me, to say Shahada, shouldn't I know that right away after I go and I lose my power over you, you will leave me? It's not a secret. You don't love me. You don't care for me. You don't believe in me. So it's obvious. It's like forcing a woman to stay with her husband, which he, she hates to death. The second he guy die, she will find a new husband. It's not a, it's not a prophecy. So, uh, Muhammad, he did not prophesy anything. And what you are saying, uh, because Muhammad, he knew he is a fraud, and then people will go, and they will disappear as soon he go. And this is why, as soon he did died, Abu Bakr, he launched a war. The red the wars, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> to to force well, I, people I like to come to back. Bakir. That's that's why I mentioned, brother. I'm sorry. What were you gonna say? You know, if if uh, if if Muhammad was a prophet, why the people they left Islam if they believe in him? They don't. He forced them. This is why right away when he died, they left. So Muhammad he knew he is doing evil, forcing people to believe in him, and he mm. knew that the only way is the power. People they thought, okay, Muhammad he die. Now every this this religion is going to you know collapse, and that's it. But there is men behind Muhammad. They took over, and they knew now that the business is risk. It's a business. Islam is a business. So and actually uh, Abu Bakr he says, I will wage war even for the sake of a son of a goat, which means a baby of a goat. People they have to pay. The reason he did the the war of apostate because they they don't want to pay money no more paying the money yeah, yeah it's not about because they believe or not you know this is how hypocrite they are so he said if they don't even even if it is a, a baby goat they don't send i will wage war for it so it was for money and people obviously uh, until now we knew that uh, and until now islam is protected by the war if you try to insult muhammad if you try to say anything against muhammad you will be dead in less than five I minutes I read that like 15 years ago. Yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta be honest. Yeah, I read a hadith. If anybody insults me, kill him. And I remember, you know, I'm, you know, I remember reading that I'm 14, 15, because I've always loved the internet. I've always loved reading, right? And I've always been interested in religion and open-minded to a lot of them. Um, 
I guess, you know, I guess I could bring a pretty good question or, you know, is a slam a test? Okay, let's assume you firmly believe a slam is false, right? I believe Islam is the devil itself. Okay. So is that a test on humanity or is Islam a test for the Muslims to find? No, my, like, my, my friend. Why? My friend. Why would my, my friend. The, the word test is a, is a lousy word we use, uh, you know, to, uh, to, just, to justify our, our bad, you know? It's a test. It's a test. You know, it's a test. Like God is testing me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But you know, it's not God testing you, you know? Because God, he told you what is right, what's wrong. And then you are you are, like it's like somebody he go to the test, and he take a pen with him. It's called pen of fornication, and he says it's a test of fornication. I'm going to test it. You know, I'm going to take, take the exam of fornication now. This is silly. So when you fornicate, it's you who fornicate. What test? When you kill, it's you who killed. What test? No, no, you're when right. When you you're steal, right. same, same. Everything is the same. People they give themselves yeah. ex excuse, and the Quran is the behind this idea in your head that Allah is testing you. That is to make you feel not guilty because it is Allah, Allah playing games, you know? The God of Islam, he play games. And, you know, as an example, uh, if somebody is deceived, who deceived him? Allah, is that correct? It, it happens to be that if they're going against what the Quran deems as righteous or against Muslims, then no, yes. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. Who is the okay. one who mislead people when you say it's a test? The test is coming from who? Allah usually says, yeah, I lead people astray. Okay. There exactly. Down. And not uh, only that, as an example, chapter 4, verse number 88, it says, and the one who Allah uh, uh, deceive, nobody can guide. So the, the business of this God is the business of the devil. He is the one who deceive you. And then he claim that you should be punished for being deceived by him. Well then, okay, okay. So, well, how, so how weird this idea that I deceive you, I trick you, and then I make you fail in my trick because I'm smarter than you. Who is smarter, me or God? Supposedly Allah is God, right? Yeah. Hey, God is smarter, you know, obviously, right? Yeah. So who's going to win with his tricks? God. <laughs> You know, it's like playing chess with the one who make the, word, the, the game. So uh, how I can play with this God, I cannot win. So here this God, he deceived me. And then he says, how you can lead the one who I misled. I mean, how, st how stupid this, this uh, logic is. Uh, you know. Uh, right, because then I, my question was, you know, then why do some Christians turn Muslim if God says their hearts are sealed and then they because, turn Muslim? Because they deceive themselves, you know, Satan, he deceive you. It's not a test. This is not a test. I, I mean, it's something I really have, and, and this is from the Quran, so this leaves me very, like some things like Hadith, and, I want, and that's for maybe, you know, I, I guess my question is, uh, is there anything equivalent to Christian Hadith? Like, is there anything in Christianity that, that's like Muslim Hadith? Because it seems that just... We don't, we, we don't have, you know, I, everything Jesus said is in the Bible, and that's it. And you know, the Muslim hadith is a different story because right. when the Muslim, they say Islam is the Quran and the hadith, Islam became more lousy because now anyone he can say this hadith is rejected. The other person, yeah. he say, I accept it. So Islam became many Islam and everybody can play the game of it's good, it's bad, it's sahih, it's weak, etc. It's a game. So Islam is not really a religion. Islam is a collection of ideas and behind this idea is an unknown person. Like, if I ask you now, you know, uh, 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 there's a guy, his name is Ultimate Fault. I don't know if you know him. He's from Senegal. He says he don't believe in the Hadith. So if I ask him who is Muhammad, how you can give me the answer? Let us say those people, they don't believe in the Hadith. This is what the new generation they are doing. They say we don't accept the Hadith in order to what? To cancel the stupidity Muhammad, he said, in the Hadith. To wash their hands from it it's embarrassing so we say we accept only the quran and then the quran they say we give it meaning as we wish in just to order to play like the sunset in murky water they say to you it is from his perspective where in the verse it says that why are you are adding words so if we ask now any muslim he don't believe in the hadith who is muhammad there's no answer who is his wives there's no answer where he live there's no answer. 
because even in the Quran it says that we send you to Mecca and what is around it, but doesn't mean he's from Mecca. If I send you to Jerusalem, doesn't mean you are from Jerusalem, <laughs> right? So, so where we get the information from? This is a stupid book. You see, I saw like many videos of Muslim. They say uh, the Bible written by John. John who? We know who's John who is written there. Uh, Luke, Luke who? Uh, but they don't ask themselves Muhammad, Muhammad who? Even Muhammad, he was born four years after his father's death. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody, his mother, the husband die now, four years after she gave birth to a guy, his name is Qatham, and then they changed the name to Muhammad. So everything about, uh, about this person is wrong. And all this information is coming from your books, Muslims, not from our books. So when we say, uh, when you say to me, uh, somebody, he is a Christian, he converted to Islam because he's a fool. I mean, the world is full of fool. How many people, but it's your my, Trinity, friend, my, my, fr fair. my friend, how many people they take drugs every day? A lot. Because they are fool. How many people they, uh, you know, uh, they drive and drink because they are a fool. How many people do you smoke? People make mistakes. But yeah. No, that's not a mistake. That's not a mistake. Do you smoke? Do I smoke what? Do you smoke cigarette? I don't, I quit cigarettes. Okay, well, when you were smoking, you were a fool because you know it's not healthy yeah. and you take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're yeah, right. so so human being, he do stupid, foolish things, uh, depend in his situation, like somebody is desperate to find some friends. So he say, okay, Muslims, they will give me a good uh, company or somebody is in jail. He need the protection from the gang of the Muslims in jail yeah. because they are a big community. He convert to Islam, he leave the jail, he is not a Muslim no more. So my friend, we don't care for those people. The book in the front of us, we examine it, and I can confirm to you that this is literally the book of the fools. Who in the world well, want to believe? Who in the world want to believe that there's God? He created his well, creation. I'm sorry. He created his creation, and then he says that the, the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone. How in the world he say such a thing? How in the world that woman, she have a sperm coming from her ribs? How about the atheists that look at us like we're all just fools because we just let us not to let, let us not to scatter ourselves all over the place. No, no you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, atheist. Atheist. Like I, uh, I guess my point was like there's a belief. Some belief is a little crazy. I mean, some of these stories are a little out there. Just religion in general. I mean, but look at Hinduism. It's older than Christianity. Uh, uh, so this why is, is it not, this? This is not. You know, we don't want to go everywhere. We are talking about Islam. Oh, you're right, you're if, right. an, I'm sorry. if an atheist is calling me, don't worry. I will make. I will put him in the in, in a right, jar. I will put him in a jar in two seconds. Everybody oh. have an answer ready for him. You know, because he's, we we speak to him based on his belief. So that's why I ask you, should I speak to you as a Sunni? Are you a Muslim? I ask you right right away. You said yes, and then I said, okay, are you a Muslim? I speak to you as a Muslim or a Sunni? You said Sunni because I need to know. What you believe in so when we speak to an individual we speak to him about his belief and based on his belief we respond to him so now do okay. you agree do you agree with me my friend that islam is really stupid i can't say that because it's my religion what, what, so what if it's your religion do you don't you think it's stupid to believe that the sun set in a hot water <laughs> well, look at the world. The people think the earth is flat now. Okay, so they were, they were stupid, and you are saying to me, I will join the stupid one? Well, if somebody, unless, if somebody, you, if, if, somebody right, believe, just, if, if somebody believe that the elephant is a mosquito, why? Because he have a long nose. Are you going to say I agree? <laughs> Come on. So when we, when we show a stupid thing, this is a book of a stupidity. We do not need to discuss no more. So, do you agree that this book is full of a stup a stupidity, or you don't agree? Not any more than the Bible or any other script. I just think you can say is a whatever you want. I'm not going to prevent you from saying you can attack the Bible, no problem. But do you agree no, that I, the Quran? Do you agree well, that yeah. the Quran? So, do you, do you, so you agreed already that there's the Quran is that, a stupid? There, no, there's some things that that you know that. Okay, the Quran's supposed to be for all eternal time, right? Mm -hmm. What does have to do with my question? What does this have to do with my question? Well, no, because that, I guess that what I'm saying is like... I want you to focus person. with me. I want you to focus with okay. me. Is okay. the Quran... Uh, okay, let us, let, us, let us focus together, you know? Just to make it simple. 
The Quran says that hail come from mountains in heaven. Do you believe this is stupid or smart? The mountains, where the mountains come from? Pags? No, no. The Quran teach that hail come from mountains in heaven. How? Mount, mountains in heaven. Chapter 24, verse number 43. Do you agree that this is a stupid statement? Or you think this is okay? Do you think that hail come from mountains in heaven? Hellfire? No. No, no, no. my friend. Hail, hail. You know hail? Healing? Hail, the ice that come from the sky, not snow. There's snow and oh, there's hail. ice. Hail. I'm sorry. Hail. I'm yeah. Sorry. So according to the Quran, Allah, he sent hail from mountains in heaven. I mean, it's from up there. I, I, I don't, I don't think that's the stupidest thing. No, I don't, I don't think that's absurd. So, so, I do. so, do you believe that really hail is coming from mountains flying in the atmosphere? I don't. But I mean, so why you are saying it's not a stupid statement? Either it is true, or it is wrong. If it is wrong, this is stupid. But the verse saying here, there's mountains flying. And for sure not in the space, because hail is not coming from the empty space. There's no cloud there, right? No. Okay. So if the mountains are flying, they are going to fly where the airplane fly. Have you ever heard of a mountain flying in the sky when you were taking your jet and your like four wives were trapped? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, I'm being sarcastic with you. Don't well, don't be offended. Okay, why? No, no, it's okay. Why is there so many Christianities then? So you see, there... you're trying to avoid the question. The question is an. No, no, I said, I, I, I said, there's, there's, you know. For so, me, I want to make sense of the violence and the. This war. is not the question. I want you to focus with me. Do you think it's a smart from somebody claimed to be God? To say that hail is coming from mountains in heaven. No, I not don't smart. Think that so the you smartest thing. So you agree that Allah is a fraud, because there's no way God will say such a statement. And you agreed. Happy so for you, my friend. You agreed. You agreed that this is stupid. I mean, if you word it like that, <laughs> but... I'm not wording it. I ask you, is it smart? You said no. What is the opposite of smart? It's stupid. <laughs> Maybe you did not say the word is stupid yet, but you said it's not smart. You agree. I said, is it smart? You said no. So you agreed that Allah is a stupid. Thank you very much. You okay. Well, okay. Let's look like this, right? Let's just, like, this must be very stressful. Okay, I'm Muhammad. I'm not saying, you know, I, let's just pretend. Okay, I'm Muhammad. I'm trying to make this new religion. This must be very exhausting to, okay, I'm going to borrow from this. And, oh, I said this, so I got to What's exhausting? That. Muhammad, he did not say all of this in one day. He was taking his time. Took him more than 20 years. The, ho the whole Quran, my friend, the whole Quran is not even in the size of the index of my books. My book, one book, the index is better than, bigger than the whole Quran. So the Quran is a very small book. There's nothing. And as you see, it's a stupid thing. This guy is making uh, uh, saja. Saja is like crab. You know, I eat potato. You are tomato. And you know what? I, uh, uh, if you go to to, uh, uh, to Mexico, you are going to Fartino. What the heck is that? There's no meaning. This is stupid. So he was just making stupid sentence in Arabic, putting them together. And the end of the mean is, is, is a disaster. So you are saying to me, this is ex exhausting. Why? What he's doing? The guy, yeah, was, gotta... the guy was busy having sex with the children, having sex with the, his own son, wife, having sex with everybody. He made, so... a ver he made a verse saying, any woman, she can give herself to the prophet so he can F her. Oh, that's a little strange. Okay, so how no, no, about... No, what like... do you mean it's strange? Somebody is, if it's exhausting, if it is exhausting, this guy, you have a lot no, of mentally, time. Mentally, like, to, 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 like mentally to like, okay, he got all these stories and it's just very, it's religion is stressful, right? Okay. So I don't My know. My friend, the guy was having fun. You know, imagine God, he sent the verse says any woman she liked to offer herself to Christian prince.
Do you see how stressful I am now? <laughs> I <would> be able... <laughs> this is really stupid. And you know, uh, oh, before you call me, I was saying no, to like, people here. Wouldn't he be paranoid? Be like before from you... the really people that he was trying to kill. Okay, he's let's okay, he's a fake prophet. But you have the Meccans trying to kill you because you're changing their polystic ways and you're making fun of them. And Abu Bakr is saying, suck the clitoris of Allah and all this weird stuff. <laughs> My friend, it's you establish an organization and you have no choice but to continue. It's a business, either it succeeds or it's going to die. So Muhammad, when he started his business, uh, hoping that people will listen to him, this is why in the beginning he was trying to be friendly to the Christian and the Jews. When the Christian, they refuse him, and then the Jews refuse him, even though they accept him as a refugee, the Jews, they took Muhammad between them. Why do you think he hated the Jew? Why did you? Why do you think he hated the Jews specifically more? Because they got him busted many times. The Jews they used to make fun of him, getting him busted. As an example, the story of the story, kind of, the story like, oh, of the story of Al Khadr. The Jews they came to him and they told him there's a prophet. His name Al Khadr. What do you know about him? Khadr, right, with the yeah. Moses and the green. Yeah. And Muhammad, he got the he got the bait. He's a he's a fool. So he come and he said to them a chapter about Al Khadr. And later, he found out Al-Khadr is just a scam. He's not real. This is Alexander the Great. He's not a prophet. He's actually bisexual. So they always give him a bait, and he's a fool, and he take it. So he takes stories from the Jews. He make it prone. And then after that, the, the, the Jews, they make fun of him. So what they do, they send up somebody to speak to Aisha, or to speak, as an example, the punishment of the Great. A Jewish woman, she walked by to the house of Aisha. She said to her, uh, you know, uh, we seek refugee from the punishment of the grave. Aisha, she said to her, you're lying. There's no such a thing. Muhammad, he come from his room. They found him argue, uh, argue, both of them. So he said to her, what's the problem? She said, this woman, this Jewish woman, she is saying, we seek refuge from the punishment of the grave. Uh, Muhammad, he said, well, okay, well, she is saying the truth. And Aisha, she said, since then, not even once, not even once, Muhammad, he pray without saying, I seek refuge from God, from the punishment of the grave. So why Muhammad never say that ever before? Until the Jewish women, she mentioned it. He hang up. <laughs> All right. Isn't it obvious? But you know, already he's out of Islam, actually. He agreed that the Quran is stupid. What do you want more? And you know, we, we have this guy, he keeps saying, Elias, Christian Prince, if we, etc., he will run away, he will cry. Hey, my friend, get me your daddy. Stupid idiot. Any was time he make those comments just to block him. Either you bring me your daddy or go. Put your diaper on. Hello? I'm sorry about that. It's all right, no problem. So as you see, Aisha, she heard the Jewish woman mention the punishment of the grave. And then Muhammad, he said to her, this is true. And then since then, Aisha, she said, after that, I never saw Allah apostle, but seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment of the grave. He just learned from the Jew. He just learned from the Jew. Yeah. So, so if he is a prophet, you know, if this is really real, then he, he will not uh, wait for the Jewish women to say it. He will say it from the first day. But suddenly, after the Jewish women, so they, they give him a trap, you know? They, they make fun of him. They go there, they send the women. The women, she says something, Muhammad, he take, he take what the Jews take and say seriously. He know that those people have religion. So whatever the Jews they say, he put it in his book. And suddenly now, became a big thing in his time to believe in the punch of the grave. If we go right now to YouTube, we will find a billion video about the punishment of the grave with animation and there's movies so you guys don't believe that in christianity what thing, that, are you dead are you dead or not how you are dead and you are going to be punished in the grave <laughs> are, you are you dead or not do you mean it's something more it's it's kind of a cruel thing that god wouldn't do or are you saying that it just doesn't make sense it's a stupid you know are you dead or not you're so, dead. Okay, so how you how we will punish you and you are just dust? What you punish what exactly? Well, because you're still be living, you can still feel. Physical. No, you are not. They are dead. This is why no, you are. 
Well, okay, in Christianity, you believe you're going to another place, right? Uh, in a, no, this is uh, in the judgment day, when God, he take us, you know, to his heaven, not right away, you go from the grave and you find the door open for you to the other hole. <laughs> no, yeah, you have to wait for the resurrection. Yeah, so but this is a different story. Here we are talking about somebody is in the grave. Look how many videos the Muslims they have. I just search in Arabic, Adab al Qabr. Ooh, <laughs> the punishment of the grave. And look, look here. A camera inside the grave. There's a, there's a, there's a cat. Look at this cat, you know? And look, 2.6 million of you. 2.6 million of you. And those are do they believe it. A camera in the grave. And there's a cobra, and there's a cat, and not to forget the 99 head, uh, uh, the, 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 the snake, who have seven heads, each head have uh, 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 nine heads. Uh, I mean, look at the movies, man. And, and then the guy, the angel, he will ask you three questions, and if you don't answer the question, they will hit you with hammer, or made hammer. it from steel, you know? Did you watch the, the movie, it's called, the, what it's called? Thor? The, the the Greek mythology, the guy who have a hammer, he fly oh, with it. Thor, 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 yeah, Thor. So Thor is in the in the Muhammad story. Here we go. So now you are in the grave, and the angels will come to you, and they will ask you three questions. What is your religion? You have to say Islam. If you say Christianity, if you say atheism, if you say Hindu, Allah Akbar. So, uh, and then the second question, uh, who is your God? You have to say Allah. If you say Jesus. And each time he hit you, he will split your head and it will make you go down 70, uh, uh, I mean, a cupid down. And then the third question, they will show you a picture. And they will say, who is this man? If you say Muhammad, you pass. If you say someone else, like Joe Biden, you are in trouble. I mean, <laughs> have you ever heard of a stupid exam that the answers are given to them before we go to it? So now I know the exam. <laughs> <laughs> God must be laughing at all of us. Well, I got a couple of good points from a couple. Yeah, I, I understand your points, brother. And I got to say, I, 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 you know, you bring up good points. In what, your do you, what do you mean you understand my point? You understand my hammer now? Because we are using a hammer to make you understand. The angel will hit you in your head. What point? There's no point here. No, no, no. I'm saying you. I'm saying you bring good points like, you know, that make people think. <laughs> hmm. But I got a question, a couple of questions for you that I've just little things I've been writing because I don't want my thoughts to escape me. That's why I'm writing in my little thing mm. here as we're going along. Okay. So you, you're Arabian Christian, right? Or mm -hmm. for something Middle East, maybe you're a Syrian. I don't know. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm black, blonde, African American from Japan. Okay. Where is that? What, uh, okay. What? There we go. Okay. okay. So mm. my point is like, you see the lady, she's Christian woman. Because it sounds like you support past, uh, Israel, like, okay, whatever, that you say, right? It's, I don't it's support Israel. I don't support Israel. I support the, the fact that this is the land of the Jews. I, I don't, right. I mean, okay, I can respect that. I don't yeah. think anybody's going to This is their delegate. land. Give, give people their land. If it's your land, I would say it's your land. If it's not, I would say it's not. But they were living like, the, okay, the, the, the Arabs, the Arab, they didn't just come there when... Omar or whoever Khalif came. No, after no. Uh, you see, the first time you see, you go read to the uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, Islamic uh, history books, you will find that the first time people they spoke Arabic at that time, it was in the Caliphate Abdul Malik ibn Marwan. Before that, oh, yeah, nobody okay. nobody speak Arabic. This is the language there. It's either Hebrew or Aramic. So, Arab are not there. There's no Arab there. The only Arab where it exists is the Arab Christian, which is in the border of uh, Jordan, not in Israel, you know, like mm -hmm. all the way to Tabuk. So like Al-Ghassasina, you know, Al-Ghassasina, those okay. are Arabian Christian tribes. They have their king, you know, so uh, those are the Arab, but they are not from Jerusalem and they have the nothing to do with it. So like I, then what are the I'm my, sorry, my friend, even the Quran says in chapter five, verse number 21, that Allah He gave the Holy Land to the Jews, but then so, they, but then they committed facade. And he doesn't matter. Out. Doesn't matter. It's their land. It's their land. Even even Muhammad He He said that the one who built Jerusalem or Bayt al Maqdis it was uh, Sulaiman and David. So when your book says, or now you are not a Muslim because you made fun of the Quran already, 
uh, when when the Quran already admit that this is the book given, this is the land given to the Jews, assigned to them, you know, that's it. This is the, even even the Quran never mentioned the word Palestine, never spoke of that's it. That's a good point. That's a good, that's a really good point. Yeah, and even Muhammad yeah, he, he agreed that the one who built what the Muslim called Al Aqsa is the, the one who built it is uh, David and Solomon. So why you want to take it? So what? when I say, when I say, I, 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 I support Israel, right? I'm supporting Israel, right? When Israel do wrong, I say they are doing wrong. I don't take a side. Right. Well, you know that a Palestinian Christian woman, like, why, why don't the Christians have more? She of a is no right? Christian. She is supporting terrorist. A, a, this woman, she is no Christian. I know who is she. Was she, she, a she is from the Orthodox Church in in that territory. She was she was a journalist supporting terrorists, supporting Hamas. So she is no Christian. There's no Christian would do what she's doing. Yeah, but doesn't Hamas pretty much represent all the Palestinians? No, Hamas represent only terrorism because no Christian Hamas they they cut the head of a Christian person just for selling the Bible in his library. They gave him a warning, twenty four hours. Take all yeah, the Bibles. They're, they're all the... a little. They're, well, they're very crazy. I don't think. No, no, they should... are not crazy. This is who they are. They are Islamic terrorism. So Hamas, anyone who support them, he is no Christian. There's no way. That... There's no way, my friend. There's no way Christian he will support an organization, make living from sending children to die, make living by sending somebody to commit suicide in a bus. Okay, you cannot be you yeah, cannot be Christian. Fair. You cannot be Christian and you do that. So for me, she is a filthy woman. She is no Christian. Like let me tell you, I went to Palestine. They kind I of don't care. You see, you are changing topic now. We are not going no, to no, switch. No, no, I kind of wanted to switch. We don't want to switch. Of... They want to switch to politics. No, no, uh, no. I'm I'm kind of supporting. Like okay, even if you're Palestinian American and you go to Palestine, they might make fun of you because oh, how the Amriki, he's born over there. So even your own people that you support. They're like spitting on you. Well, those, you know, in in in, uh, in, in Middle East is a, is a messed up, and the Arab they don't respect anyone. They they they, they bad mouth. So even if you conspiracies, even, yeah. even if you see your cousin, they will give you a hug. If you are a Middle Eastern, then you know they will give you a hug after you leave their door. They start talking about you and about your wife. So you know better. Well, that's right. Well, yeah. that's right. So this well, is this is what they do, and this is who they are. And then they cry. They claim the Jew. They blame the Jews for anything. If the guy, his wife, she could not give a baby, he would say we blame the Jews. If they don't have electricity, they blame the Jews. If somebody he could not pass the exam, he played them Jews. You know, I mean, uh, they blame the Jews for anything. Like, well, why why we have a hole in the front of my door in my, in, in, in the street? We have we are war in Israel. How we can so fix admit, it? But you admit Israel is doing some very nasty things. I, I, what is the nasty? Thing? They are giving equal right. They are making them even have a con. A con they are in the Congress. They allow Muslim even to say Allahu Akbar in the Congress. They give you free insurance. They give you health. You give you no, salary. No, like me, my me, friend, I my friend, my friend. Trust me. Any Arab in the Middle East, he would dream to go and get Israeli citizenship. This is a fact. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not making things up. Because in Israel, you are more respected as an Arab than an Arab respected in an Arab country. In the Middle East, you can disappear, you and your family, for saying two words. And you know that. You're right. Okay. okay. So what, well, that's an Arabic so, thing. So what, what, what nasty words. thing? What nasty thing? You know, they, <laughs> what nasty? I mean, this is the, the Middle East is the most stupid place ever. They speak too much about God, but they are not godly. They speak too much right, about, right. about about honor and etc. But they have no honor. The they are, they are the right. people of gossip. They are the people of lying. The the judge is corrupt. The police is corrupt. The the king is corrupt. The president is corrupt. I mean, everybody is corrupt. But everybody is believer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as the uh, you, you go to Muhammad, buy, Muhammad said, there's not going to be too many good people. Yeah, you you go to the butcher to buy some beef. You go home, you find it a cat meat. <laughs> you know the. the but there are good out of people. You know there are. You know we're successful. There yeah, what successful? I, my friend, the society is corrupt to the bones, and they are so proud about nothing. Me myself, like the, my friend, yeah. my friend. I'm, I, I'm yeah. not talking about Muslim now or Christians. I'm talking about Middle East, including Christians. I don't. Right. I don't associate with them. Because the majority, the majority, they have a very bad, it's a very bad culture. Gosabin, 
they hate each other, the cousin hate his cousin, the family hate a family, the sister she speak about the kids of the other sister. I mean, every it's girl's a, a it's, it's, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, without using bad words, every, every, awesome. every, you know, every disease in the world, you can find it there. In the same time, they are the most proud people ever. They are the decent, they are the honorable. Right. They are the, the we, brother, we are the one who discovered electricity, really? Yes, and Shakespeare, his real name is Shakespeare. <laughs> but okay, brother, why did, why, okay, okay, let's assume, and that's another point, if Muhammad was, okay, I don't want to write that down. Okay, so like, I think a good video for you, because you break things down pretty good. I don't know if you saw Andrew Tate, the Christian kickboxer. He said Islam fixes a lot of things. And he's right. Yes, there's bad things. Like, like what? Islam fix what? People say stupid things, my friend. Who cares what, what, no. what this kickboxer is? Let me kick his ass. What he said. Tell me. Islam fix what? Well, he is four-time world kickboxing champion. Who cares? We can, we can kick, you know, <laughs> because there's many ways to kick the ass. You know, these no, days, no, actually. No, viral for saying this. And I just think, like. No, no, tell me. Islam fix what? No, Islam fixes, okay, the role of women, where Christian. What role of women? What role of women? Okay. Exactly, okay, tell me. How come we can wear a shirt that says Jesus is gay, but if you say that with Muhammad, I know it's, you could say it's a bad thing because we shouldn't just go kill people, but, like, how come people don't defend Jesus the way we love Muhammad? Okay, well, no, you see, you're not defending uh, Muhammad. You are defending yourself because you feel you are insulted, and you cannot take it to, take, to see somebody... Uh, uh, oh, but I can. That's no, why no, I'm not no, no, listen, listen. First of all, first of all, let's sure. Uh, if Muhammad is a prophet of God, and he have a God to protect him, why you need to go and kill for him to defend his honor? If Jesus is God, why I need to go and defend Jesus? Nobody should be killed. Like no. this is a problem. It says like they kill for apostasy in Islam, but really it's not. No, in the you, are, you are you are switching topic. I ask you, the guy he said Islam fix many things. You did not give me anything. Islam fix nothing. Islam no, is the, the problem. Islam the is the problem. Your rule of women for what? Women, she is an object of sex in Islam. No, no, no. I, well, I want to give you the background of the video. He said that the, a lot of the problems that the Western world is facing now, Islam fixes it. Like, like what? Like women are just out there, sexual. I mean, come on, brother. You well, know, go, like, okay, okay. I will show you. I want you to look with me in YouTube. I will type only one word. This guy, who is ever he is, and he is an idiot. A kickboxing, Islam fix anything. So if we force women to not to wear a short skirt, that will make those women good. They will go and have sex behind the wall. So I will type here the word mahlaya. You know what mahlaya mean? I don't. Okay, I type the word Mahlaya. Look, it says adult. You cannot see it because it's for, you have to be over, confirm that you are over 18. This is, this is the Arab women wearing hijab. So this guy is a donkey, whoever he is. Islam fix nothing. People, they do. Look, even sexual dance, women, women, they sleep in the top of each other in public. In public. Women sleeping in the top of the other women and all the sheikhs are around them. Look at this one. Women they, the, women, they, the women, they raise up their ass up in the sky and everybody around is wearing hijab and they are wearing hijab too. This guy is a certified oh my, idiot. Middle East is the land of Where prostitution. My friend, go to Turkey. Where's that at? Where's that at? It's on no, YouTube. I'm, I'm showing right you now. on YouTube. I'm showing you. This is in the Middle East. That is very weird behavior. <laughs> what weird behavior? What weird behavior? I think you know, if we say, if we, if we say, which, like, like, if we say like, which country like, is number like, one, hold on, hold on. If we say which country in the world is number one in belly dancing, give me the name of the country. I say America, baby. No, I say Egypt. I say Egypt. <laughs> I love America. I don't no. know. Uh, well, America is number one belly dancing. What's since when? <laughs> This is this is your Middle East, and you know, like this is the garbage and drugs. You know, Morocco, Tunisia, Libya. Uh, uh, I mean, come on, the people they speak is stupidity. Well, maybe if America my friend, my friend. So, so Islam, Islam did not fix anything. The, the women she became more sexual object. In America, women they are free to do as they want. So here, you know who, what kind of woman she well, is because listen. No, 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 it's not a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. I will tell you why. Because when you force people to behave as you want them, obviously they are not behaving because you force them. Give them because a freedom. 
Take the freedom yeah. of USA and give it to those Arab, and you will see what will happen. Well, Just they love that. Uh, well, they, no, no, they will go. They will go. Uh, you know, this is why uh, Saudi or etc. They go in the airplane before they arrive. They go to the bathroom. They change their clothes. They wear a short skirt. They don't even arrive to the airport in Europe. So, give them freedom. Then you will know them. So this guy, whoever he said that, he is a stupid because Islam is not fixing anything. Islam is a problem. If a woman walk in the street alone, she will be kidnapped. She need a guardian because Islam made everything sexual. And the women she became a sex toy so don't tell me islam fix what fix can okay, you no, can okay. you can your sister walk safely alone in egypt or in hamas territory and not a thousand person touch her or speak filthy word to her can a woman keep go in the bus without being molested by a thousand dog so what islam fix anything I, again i saw i saw the women i saw the woman being killed in jordan in egypt it makes me sick the f teacher in France, you know. Yeah, so it's so, like see, so you are you are you, you you witness it yourself. So what this guy he said is is stupid. He don't know what the Middle East is. So he say things. Most of those Western people they speak about things they don't know. You know we are we are from there. <laughs> okay now okay now why okay if Christianity is true why didn't God just make okay and I'm asking you this because Islam addresses it's like Islam says. We sent messengers to all people. They took away from the message, etc. Right? Mm. If Christianity is true, why did, why aren't we all just Christians? And maybe we all would have been different denominations of Christians, or we all been in, been the same Christians. I don't know. But why? Why would God? Why? Why? You why see, you are you are you know. I assume that you are a smart person. Um, no, listen. I assume that you are a smart person, right? <clears throat> up above average. So what I'm does not, what does have to do? What does have to do with why? Because simply, as long as we give people a free will, and for us, there's no different Christianity, all the Christians, either they believe in Jesus as God or not. If you don't believe in him as God, you are no Christian. So there's different names of churches, but that will not change anything. Because simply, well, what about my friend, Joseph hold, Smith and the Latter-day Saints? This is not a Christian. This is just a stupid uh, cult. This is like That's Muhammad. This is, this, is, this is Muhammad. He had many wives too, and you know. And he and just they came to him in the middle but of the I night. I don't think cults have 1.3 billion followers. I don't. So what? The, the 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 bigger the bigger the more stupid it is. So it, you see, if it's a, if I will go with your logic. If a, if a cult is 1.3, uh, that will make it right. Will that mean we are right and that we are the only right then because we are the biggest faith? You are bigger than Islam. Okay. okay. Yeah, I always think, I I always. But this know. is not right. This is not right to think this way. So You're if right. the whole world is smoke and I don't smoke, that's mean I am I am the wrong one. <laughs> okay, if you died and Muhammad was true, okay, and and, and that, I guess that well, yeah, that's a hypothetical thing. What did Jesus say? He was the last prophet. Jesus, he, he why what he, why he didn't say he's, the, the, he's God, my friend. He, he, he did not say he's a prophet. He is God. So Jesus, he said that I will send you the Comforter, which is a spirit, which is the spirit of God. He will not send us men. He will send us the Holy Spirit only. That what Jesus will send. And his disciple, he sent them to teach. So God will be with us as a spirit. The disciple of Jesus, they will be with us as teachers. But they will not be anything else. They are the one who witnessed to him. They saw him. They learned from him. And they carry on the mission. Okay, and well, think about it. What, okay, how are Muslims so steadfast? You know, people being tortured in jail, and they're all so Satan's. Okay, this is from religions from Satan, right? Okay, how are we this strong? How are we keep? I know birth rates and whatever. I'm just trying to look at logic from where Muslims My friend, are. In our I, I don't know what are you talking about. How strong you are when you just said to me the Quran is a stupid. I never said that you tried no, to No, you me said that to me. You said that to me. Let us go slowly. How strong we are, and I ask no, you, I, when Allah, he said, hail coming down from mountains in heaven, is that I a smart? Faith, faith. I, I, no, no. Is that a smart for Everybody you? In the you, world you said no. No, no, no. I just, I just want to clarify my point. Everybody in the world knows, like, man, Muslims, you know, comedians joke about this. About that what? That you can never out Muslim. Eddie Griffin. 
they all joke about it. But no, my friend, true. Muslims so are the, Muslims are the most weak. Can be defeated so easy for many reasons. Because number one, they betray each other. Number two, they are not united. Number three, they are not true believers. Number four, they are money seekers. All of those are your weakness. And since the time well, of Muhammad, everybody makes money. Look at the friend, mega churches, No, man. no, 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 my friend. Listen, you know how ISIS was defeated. No uh, how how ISIS no how uh, how ISIS were defeated. How Saudi Arabia protected by USA. How all Islamic countries are under the command and the shoes of Joe Biden. This is the truth. Pakistan, the American, they went know, inside. Admit, listen, so listen. So how you are, so how you say we are strong and we are etc. When you are in there, when you live by their protection, what kind of strength you have? No, no, no. Well, I mean, I mean our faith. I don't mean our strength. You don't have faith, as you see. I ask a few questions. Your faith fly. Uh, your faith flight away. What faith? You don't have faith. Well, I, I have faith. Well, well, you, don't, you don't have faith. You just made fun of the Quran and you laugh at it. You forgot? Well, it's I'm a... not on my deed recently, brother. What? <laughs> did, you, did you take hashish before you call me? <laughs> well, that's another subject. But my point, brother. Uh, okay. You know... So, my friend, you have no faith, you have no strength, you have no power, and you have no book, and you have no prophet, and you have no God. In the top of that, you have no religion because all of you Muslims, and actually, if even your prophet, he says, my nation will be 73 sec, the Christian, they will be 71, 72. He says that, yeah. Yeah, so you Muslims are way divided more than others. Secondly, Muhammad, he so, lied here. You because, just admitted because, this prophecy was true. You no, just this, is, this, is, this is false because there are no 73 sect. There's millions. What 73 sect? Oh, Since when? Oh, yes, because it, the Shia alone is more than more than 200 sect. The Shia alone. So how this what is... What do you mean? The how Bulat, you, how the you are, My friend, the Sunni are many sects and the Shia are tons of sects. So how uh, this is yeah, how this is end with seven? Right okay, Zaydia, I want Ismailia. you to count for me. No, no. What is Ismaili? I don't know what are you talking about. Uh, this the, even the Shia, the Ethnic Asharia, the twelve, they have tons of sect. Even the, the Muslim Sunni, they have millions of sect. Go and read. You know there is tons, twenty millions. No, nobody even knows how many. I can't even count no, them. No, but there's the schools that, like there's the Maturidi no, and then no, the. No, no, no. You see, this is sect. Oh, still. This is still no, those sect. are schools of thought. No, That's what no, I'm no, saying. no, no. This is you see, this is a sect because when you have different idea, different belief in what your brother believe, especially explaining the Quran, that means you are a sect. Yeah. Uh, you see. What the, about the Jews? Why don't the no, Jews? Listen, 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 they... listen. Who care about this? You see, you are you are going left and right. I uh, you, you mentioned no, that, no, I'm that nobody can out no, nobody can outcome uh, uh, overcome them. You say on, nobody but... can overcome Muslims. Muslims are very easy to defeat. They have even no protection, like uh, military. Even your money is not to be trusted in their banks. You put it in the banks of the American. So how how you can well, that's be because they're hypocrites. That's because no, the no, Arab this is hypocrites. not because they are hypocrite. That's because you don't trust that's Arab. Don't tr no, 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 Saudi Arabia, no, 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 Muslims, no, 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 Muslims don't trust Muslims. You know that. You know I can uh, when I used to go to a, a Muslim, he is uh, 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 like in, in my school. I go to his house. When I go to his house, I sit with his sisters and his mother, and they are wearing short skirt. They don't hide from me. The second, another kid from our age, we are like in a high school, another Muslim, he call, he knock at the door. Right away, the sisters hide, and the mother hide. They don't trust a Muslim. A Muslim don't trust a Muslim, and you know that. Don't lie to yourself. They trust Christians. So in the Middle East, you must and you trust us. You can send your <laughs> wife. You can send your wife to our house and you are not worried. But you cannot send your wife alone to a house of a Muslim and you know that. So you Muslims, the worm ate you from inside. It's a tree from outside, but there is no trunk. It's eaten by worm, and it's eaten by worm since the time of Muhammad. This is why all the caliphate were killed by Muslims. This is why all the family of Muhammad were killed by Muslims. That is very true. This what, is what, because this what, is because this is. they were half-hearted, brother. They no, were hypocrites no. because they no, knew you see, Muhammad. This, this is those are the companion of your prophet. So you just said something very important. The companion of well, Muhammad. I don't like them. That's why I got away. I got an argument before, brother. Listen exactly. Listen what you just said. They are hypocrite. Who? The companion of Muhammad. The caliphate of Muhammad. So if those are the best of Muslims are hypocrite, what kind of a prophet he is? Tell me your friends. Who is your friends? I will tell you who you are. So if your friends are a bunch of gang and hypocrite, 
That's me, Muhammad is hypocrite too. Yeah, but the Shia believe that he knew. I don't care what the Shia it. believe. No, you don't jump to the Shia. The Shia is different level of. No, of, no, no. Because madness. I believe certain things, like they say. Well, I gotta say about the Shia, they they say certain things that the Sunni tries to hide. Exactly. This is because. No, so I respect them for that. I just, you know. But but do not to change anything that Shia is, you know, is a stupid sect, the same as the Sunni. Who care? Okay. So what about the? Okay, yeah, we don't need to go. I know, and, and I like the way where why I'm bringing up so many topics, brother, is because I have a lot of different points in different stuff, but I think it's all connecting very well. I think uh, hopefully you're. Yeah, so, and so now, as long as you agree with me that uh, Muhammad and his uh, companion, they are hypocrite, the Quran is a stupid book. So why you don't say loud and clear that you are out of Islam? Well, because I don't jump into anything, <laughs> I take my time with things. Okay, um, well, okay, see, because uh, people are trying to contact me and call me, and I'm spending my time with you. I gave you enough reasoning, and you agree with them, and instead you don't want to give me an answer. So uh, why, uh, why well, no, would I, I guess, continue? Uh, I guess my answer is no. I, 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 I did, that was not the purpose of my phone call. My purpose of the phone call was. But what? what no, yes, you agreed that the Quran is a stupid, and now you are saying you are still a Muslim. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm saying you backed me into that because you brought up one thing that I actually never even read. I, I I'll say this. Well, I don't care. I, I showed you. And I, 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 I'm not scared of anybody, bro. My friend, I, I don't real, care if you are scared. This, name is, on the sky. this is your this is your business. I'm asking you. When I said that Allah, he sent hail from mountains in heaven. Is that a smart well, or a stupid? What you said I to just, me, remind me. Why is that? But... But that's the thing, brother, and you even know. Because Remind me what you said. I said, is it smart or stupid what you said? I don't know about that. I you don't said, it's such I a vague I said, is it smart? You said no. But I don't, I don't, it's, it's kind of like a, it's, it's like, what kind of question is that? What, you know? what do you mean? What kind of question? It's a it's question. Like, was Abra it does, okay. Was you, Abraham sacrificing this his is, son? That this was, is, that this was is, stupid, this is, no, this is, not a, this, is, this is not a stupid, this is a story can be true and you, you can't believe it or you cannot believe it. It's your business. But here we no, are no, talking no, about, I believe but him this is, doing but that this is, this is, we are talking about something, but this is not about Abraham. This is about something we see around us every day. Is it true? That hail is coming from mountains in the sky. Yes or no? I don't believe that to be true, but I'm not going to mock. Then, the okay, that, that's me. I, just, I, I don't want to mock. Okay, my friend, I'm, you're, you're, you're wasting my time. Sorry, I can't continue with you. So you just said, I don't believe this is to be true. So you don't believe the Quran to be true. And yet you don't want to say, I'm out of Islam. No. So why are you calling me? You agree that this is going to be true. He sent down out of, of heaven uh, a mountain where the uh, actually translation is false. It says he sent down hail out of mountains, not mountain hail. I think this guy is using Google translation. <laughs> so don't waste my time. There's no way God can say stupid things. He's God. So if he says stupid things, he's a stupid God. As simple as that. You are all over the place, you know, we are, you know, a kickboxer guy, he said, who cares, they are stupid, that's why he's a kickboxer. If you have a brain, he will not be doing the business of kickboxer. I hear do kickboxing every day. I don't use my foot. People who have no brain. Who is the best kickboxer in the world? The donkey. Did you try his head? If he kick you, you are, you are done. Most likely, you would have broken ribs or your stomach would be came to pieces. So, a, a kickboxer, he says, it's time to fix, uh, fix uh, problems. We will take things from kickboxer now. What kickboxer? <laughs> Here, we kick Allah every day. We ride him, we mule him, we feed him, we bust him. And then at the end, he said, thank you. Yeah, I mean, people are really, they were well, kickboxers. So what if it's a kickboxer? What if I can beat everybody? So does that make me smart? You know, in this world, a child, he have a gun. He can shoot you even if you are, you know, 10 meters tall. The, the old days is over about, you know, how big you are. A kid can, a kid, a kid. No, no, 
don't, 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 uh, don't call me, please. Don't call me. Don't force me to block you. Uh, you know, and we are in a world where a, a woman, you know, a, a child can can take a David by a rock. He took a giant. He's just a kid, just a kid. David the kid. He took a giant by a rock. He is not a kickboxer hero. People, they won wars and victory by using their brain, not by kicking. Muslims, they are still kicking. You will see a Muslim, he think he got a clashing cough, he think he controlled the world. When, uh, when Erdogan, he make a, a drone, he claim a victory of the drone, amazing the drone. The shit, the, the, the chip is, the chip is made in Israel. <laughs> the GPS is America. <laughs> the engine is from China. <laughs> and they made a drone. Well, it's, uh, it's, made, uh, it's made in Turkey. <laughs> Oh. Anyway.